Hi, in this video we learn how to use Microsoft Flow and if this then that to make phone calls for free. Yes, you heard me right. Let's do a quick demo. So this is my flow over here which is using a manual trigger and an HTTP POST request um, to IFTTT to make the phone call. Let's uh, try it out quickly and then we will look into the details. So I'll perform the trigger action, test, run flow, and we should be getting the call soon over here. That's the time, but yeah, we have the call on here. Let's listen to it. This call was made through Flow and if this then that. Isn't this cool message brought to you by if Alright, that did definitely sound cool to me. Alright, so let's see how to make this. Before that, uh, why did I make this video? I actually saw John Levick's video today on how to make a phone call using Microsoft Flow buttons. Um, he used a premium connector called InfoBip and uh, for that you need to pay, you need to get a subscription. Uh, but yeah, using IFTTT you can make phone calls for free. So I, I just I couldn't stop myself from making this video because I have been already using this in my alarm app which I'll show you later on. Um, so yeah, let's let's look into how to make this flow. So just use a manual trigger, um, add an HTTP request, and um, select the method as post. And for the URL, um, you need to get it from IFTTT. Now IFTTT, if you don't know about it, it's something similar to flow. However, it it's more for kind of consumer use uh, where you can create applets um, basically this defines it so if if there is a trigger if this then do that so if something happens you can make something else happen and um, that's how this platform works it's, it's something similar to flow but yeah if you haven't explored it i definitely recommend you to explore um, it out and it, it has a lot of other features as well so uh, the service that I used in IFTTT is the webhooks service. Um, webhooks is basically you can either make request or receive a web request and um, accordingly you can either trigger an action or um, you can um, I would say uh, receive from a trigger. So uh, let's look into uh, how to use the, uh, how to define the URL. So for that, once you have connected the webhooks um, service, you can, uh, let's, let me show you over here. So you can click on documentation and then it will show you your key and also it will show you how to create the URL. So this is the URL. Um, you need to define an event so that you can kind of distinguish your uh, either post or get uh, web request. Um, so yeah, um, you can copy this whole thing over here and in your flow, um, just paste that whole thing. Now for the event, I just, you can type anything, but I just mentioned call test so that I know this is my um, kind of call testing flow. Um, so once you have made this flow, uh, you'll also have to make an applet on IFTTT and I'll show you how to do that. So you can click on create new applet. Um, for this, you'll have to select webhook. So once you select that, um, receive a web request because you, 
the webhook will be receiving the web request from the flow. Um, and we'll define calls test create trigger and then for that you can select phone calls now once you select that uh, you can define call my phone and then you can also define a message whatever you want to type over here um, once you click click create action it will kind of create the applet and you should be good to kind of use the service so in a nutshell what we're doing is we are using the flow to make this web request uh, which then is received by this um, applet which then triggers it to call the phone so we are kind of using two different services and the webhook is basically the connecting link between the two services uh, and that's how you kind of get the call um, so i wanted to show you a use case how did i use it so i i created this app called power alarm and uh, I'll cover this later. How did I kind of added the weather and my Fitbit steps? But uh, for this video, we I'll show you how to um, create add an alarm. So what I'll do is I'll add an alarm for this alarm is. Will make a phone call. Let's set it for nine fifteen PM. Okay, so once I click on this, it will add the alarm and uh, does is it triggers this flow which I've created so power apps is my trigger um, the delay until if you haven't used it yet this is something that you can use in flow to delay a flow um, till a particular timestamp so this is the timestamp that I'm getting from power apps and uh, so I'm passing the timestamp from uh, Power Apps to Flow, and uh, so the flow will be delayed until that time, and then it will send this HTTP request to IFTTT, um, and it will also send the the alarm text that I created um, in this uh, in this body that you can pass. Um, in an IFTTT kind of uh, request. So as you can see here, it has an optional JSON body that you can pass. So I'm passing the text, which I can then use in IFTTT. Um, so once I've created this, I will get an alarm at 9.15. Um, I'll take a video of that and paste it along with here. That you can see it um, just to let you know this is uh, something that I created uh, so that is how you can kind of create um, or make phone calls using flow and that too for free I know John is gonna uh, I don't know if he he's gonna get annoyed by this video <laughs> Uh, but I hope uh, we can kind of use both Microsoft Flow and uh, a different service to kind of use the best of both worlds and uh, make phone calls for free. Uh, so that's all uh, from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked the video, please uh, uh, please give a thumbs up and. Uh, 
let me know what kind of videos you want to see don't forget to subscribe my channel to get notified for the latest videos um, thank you and uh, happy power wrapping and happy flowing so you can see did get the call I had to make some changes. Create by power apps and flow. Note. So yeah, I had to make some changes in the app. Uh, it set an alarm for tomorrow somehow because I had made it like that. But yeah, this uh, I set it for 925 and I did get the alarm.